Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an Active Directory domain service is currently unavailable on your Windows computer. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be to open up the Start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the Start button one time. Go ahead and type in Troubleshoot into the Start menu search. Best result should come back with we'll troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that one time. Now you want to scroll down on this page where it says get up and running and select printer, find and fix problems with printing, and then select run the troubleshooter. So if it makes any suggestions here, I'd suggest applying the fix. So just go along with that. And again, I would suggest reading exactly what you're changing everything to. And once it's done, it should continue to check and make sure all the spooling services are enabled. Try and see if your printer is up and running at this point. If you're still experiencing a problem, you can close out of here. Open up the Start menu, type in Control Panel this time, and then select Control Panel from the Start menu search results. And now for the view by category, you want to set it to large icons. And once you've selected your view to large icons and it appears how it shows up on my computer right here, you want to go ahead and select the devices and printers selection. So go ahead and left click one time on that. Please look for your printer underneath the printer section. So if it's currently collapsed, just click a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. If you do not see your printer in here, go ahead and left click on the add a printer button. So go ahead and make sure your printer is turned on and see if it will be able to be detected. If you have any media that came with the printer when you first installed or purchased it, I would suggest hooking it up and perhaps running it so if there's a setup file on a CD or DVD or there's a file you can easily find on the printer manufacturer's website for your specific make and model. I would suggest doing that as well. So if you don't actually have any physical media, usually you'll be able to find something online and usually it'll be directly through the makers or the manufacturer of that printer. So I don't actually have any printer hooked up here, but it should hopefully show up and then you can also select that the printer I want is enlisted here and go through the additional options here so you can see we can go further with it. However, I will save that for you guys if you get to this point. So just kind of customize it again based on your own options. Everyone will be a little bit different here. If you're using a really old printer, you're probably going to want to select the first option to uh, select my printer is a little older, help me find it. Or you could also add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Those are generally the two most popular options. If you had a Bluetooth or wireless discoverable printer, you could probably select this option. The TCP IP address is probably going to be least applicable to most home users, but I'm sure there's still a market for that. So just again, follow along with whatever it suggests on here. You can probably use an existing port. You can click the drop down here and select your different printer ports. And then again, just follow along through Windows Updater if you have the disk like I already mentioned. So that's one other option you can try. A further thing we can do here, if we close out of here, 
close out of here as well. Open up the star menu again. Going to type in device manager this time. Going to open that up. You want to expand the print queue section, so either double click on print queue or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now if you see a printer in here, like specifically your printer, you just want to go ahead and right click on it and then uninstall device and then select uninstall and then restart your computer and then reinstall the printer drivers through the methods I've already mentioned in this tutorial such as going online or if you have any media that came with your printer probably be the first place I would go in order to achieve that result. So I'm going to close out of here with just restarting your computer and hopefully that would help you guys out. So provided I believe three different methods in this tutorial, do hope that one of them would be able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.